Spot, written by Beryl Carmichael, read by Ben Beat. Spot was a blue healer, or cattle dog will do. His master taught him many tricks, not just one or two. He carried a can of beer to his master in the shade, then wait until empty and bury it with no spade. He'd pick up the bumpers his master would drop, then curl up in a corner on his blanket and cot. This good dog Spot would sit up and beg, two paws held high, ruling for a chop, his eyes full of time. Peter teasing him, Spot growled in disgust. He tends to get careless, then on all fours drops. Spot and Peter were great mates for sure. One without the other was really a bore. Peter would play the old banjo mandolin, and old Spot would glare in wonder. Then, with head held high, growl like thunder, and Peter would have to pacify Spot. And Peter would roll in laughter. Old Spot never could make him out. Except when meal times arrived, Peter couldn't eat without feeding Spot. Mm. Old Spot used to torment him. He didn't get to give him anything. Mm. But he was a great dog, Spot. And <coughs> old Peter, well, Peter lived around the river. And who, Spot. Who was Peter? He was my first husband's cousin. And we used to go around and visit him because he lived alone. And but him and Spot, you, you couldn't you couldn't see him uh, separate, you know. Mm. They had to be together. And that's how they were. And with Peter, oh, he could tell you some great stories and yarns about old Spot he told, but over the years. So I wrote that poem for Peter because he loved his, his dog so much. And like I said, they were a great pair together. But if he was away from Spot, he'd get lonely, and Spot would owl all the time until he got home. Things like that. <laughs> yeah.